The festival closed with the New York premiere of Lemon, a documentary about a felon turned into a Tony Award winning performance artist. His name is Lemon Anderson, and you can take a look at him in the trailer. Let's, let's be honest about one thing, right, with this world, right? There's a system out there that's built to knock people down. There's a system that's built so that lower class people remain ignorant, right? So then if we can't play fair, then let's not play fair. It's all about poetry to me. I'm a three-time felon with the Tony Award, which means I could have you holding my belt, washing my drawers, and that shit will change the world. Poetry is going to be my meal ticket out of the hood. There's nothing to lose, everything to gain at this point. Behind this city, there is a history of struggle. One of the most astonishing artists, Lemon Anderson. I've been trying to build this show for the last 13 years. No one really knew my personal life until now. Watch me and my 1983 bop sheet. Every shimmy. Every shake, every slide, every glide slides and sinks. The writing, the rumble of a double R train with the joys and hopes of no more. The thing is, I got to go to a place I really tried to stay away from. That's the floor I lived on, right there, apartment D5. You can say we raised the crime rate in the mid-90s, this building alone. It was tough watching my mother pass away. We had nowhere else to go. This was home. He had it so hard growing up, and he just feels that he didn't want his kids to have it as hard. But this is the hardest work I ever have to do. And I'm not allowing anybody ever in my life to tell me that I can't do this. He's like so driven against all odds, like really, really trying to accomplish something. Came out of jail with this shit. And those people need an opportunity to see somebody like them shine. Watch me be the artist who was born ready-made. Watch me take my lemons and make the best goddamn lemonade. Perflex producer Vanessa Corwin sat down with Lemons co-directors Laura Brownson and Beth Levison. We really, uh, maybe as with any good story, stumbled onto the story. I saw Lemon uh, perform. I was incredibly moved by his talent as a poet and as someone who didn't necessarily love spoken word, I was just drawn to his storytelling ability within his poetry and was very um, interested in learning more about his past story. So the, my question was, is there a film here? All I can really remember was I just had never met anybody like Lemon. And then we learned what a tough time he was having and where he was at and that he was living in the project, that he had won a Tony Award and that you know, things hadn't gone as he expected. When we met him, he was living in a project with 13 people. He has two small daughters, and he was really struggling. And along the way to mount this show, he had incredible successes, but also failures. And so we had to ride that up and down with him. But this is also a film about family, and this is a film about what it means to be with someone like Lemon. And I just, you know, a really important character in the film is Marilyn, who is Lemon's wife. Marilyn has always stood by Lemon and continues to stand by him, and yet it hasn't been easy. It's not just a film about Lemon. It is about the people who support him and, and did support him, and, and even Lemon couldn't go it alone. He was very open, honest, and really willing participant, but it was tough at times, and I'm sure there were plenty of times he would have loved to have just shut the camera off. Thankfully, he didn't. Well, I think it was the first, I mean, it was the first co-directing experience for both of us. And so it was definitely a learning experience. I think that our egos did clash sometimes. And I think that we have worked and even continue to work at really recognizing each other's point of view and what the other thinks. So the thing about having a partner that is amazing is that it gives you the brave bravery to do the things you would not necessarily do on your own. And to have someone say, it might be crazy, but I'm willing to take that ride with you, <laughs> really made this this film doable. One thing that I think that we did do well is that we got other people on board and I think that's the other thing is that you, you can't go it alone and you have to get support and whether that's an executive producer, whether that's in a partner, whether that's in a funder, whether that's in a mentor, you know, get support because it's really hard and, and 
that'll take you really far. I hope that this film really touches people and moves people and that it especially inspires people who are struggling, whether those are young people or whether those are people that have experienced struggles such as lemons or whether those are people who are on the margins or sidelined. It was important to us when we made this movie that we not just tell a completely perfect tale of success. Sometimes Lemon made good choices and sometimes he didn't necessarily make good choices, but at the end, the fact that there was some redemption, I hope will be the source of inspiration for people. And you know, documentary films have a life beyond theaters, beyond DVD, beyond broadcast, which is where you take it to schools, where you take it to prisons, where you take it to those sorts of places. And, and you know, this film, we hope, will have that life as well. That was great. Thanks so much, Vanessa. Yeah. You did a wonderful job. So what did you think? Well, I really liked this film. I wasn't, you know, I didn't really know a lot about spoken word going in. It's not the kind of movie that might necessarily grab me right away, although I do love documentary. Um, but I think their treatment was so great. Um, they really allow a lot of time to be spent with Lemon Anderson. You really get to know him intimately. Um, I think that the inclusion of his work, because it's so reflective of his life, is woven throughout in a really smart way. I just thought it was moving and inspirational. It was very interesting that they chose this topic, you know, as we heard in the interview. Mm -hmm. And going into the documentary, as you're saying, showing his life in those segments, the family life. Yeah. I even like the part when they're showing how he got his name, Lemon. Yeah. And of the blonde hair, where did that come from? Yeah. <laughs> you know, but and I, I feel like I've seen documentaries like this where they mm -hmm. try to put together a lot of elements. So there's, mm -hmm. uh, you know, stuff of his family photographs, um, him in the theater, and they can't get a handle on how to edit it together, and it feels stilted or like it doesn't make sense somehow. And this is moving back and forth in time. It goes into different issues. It flows. And it, right, it totally works. Like his uh, poetry, it flows. It does. <laughs> it does. That's yeah. what I felt, yeah. you know, through the whole piece. So it was more than just watching the documentary. Yeah. And I thought it was fascinating, you know, where he was coming from and doing all these things and the tenacity. Mm -hmm. I mean, going back, you know, for all this I mean, stuff. just to go into it a little bit, he, you know, he not only is a three-time felon, but he's, he talks about how he was a felon because of the circumstances that he came from. And he doesn't say that to blame them or to feel sorry for himself. It's just a very frank uh, depiction and discussion of what happens when you grow up in poverty, when your mother can't necessarily take care of you, or when your family can't necessarily take care of you. What do you do to survive? I also like that they really spent a lot of time with his wife. Too, yes, yeah, she was amazing. Because she was just really being true to her. You right. know, it's not all easy, you yeah. know, and, but she was very she, supportive. She's supportive, but she's not a saint, right. you know, and she doesn't right. pretend to be. Right. She says there are times when it's hard. Mm -hmm. I also think it's an interest, I mean, I think what's interesting about him as an artist also, you see a lot of these portrait of an artist films, which people say, well, I don't care about money, so I was willing to let it go in order to make art. And what he's saying is, I was a felon, no one would hire me, Art was the only way I could make money, and that's so unique. And still going back to the same couple of places, the, yeah. uh, the theaters, and really trying for new places and trying to start, he's going to be great. Yeah. I think we're going to hear about him for a long time. I hope so, because, you know, the film really makes you want his success, and I think he deserves it. I love the title, too. Yeah. So how many coffee cups? Oh, I, I would give it three. I'm actually going to go ahead and give it four coffee cups. I'm going to give it the full, the full four, maybe with a twist of lemon. You can actually catch Lemon on PBS October 19th. Go ahead and check your local listings. This is Fariha Zaman, and this has been a Herflix Moment.